plug you into this is your pal CEO here. I'm not going to put my headphones on today because uh, they need to be charged and dead. It's time to prove your dwelling man on and see if, we'll, a new, if you're a new school champion. Meet me at the unusual play, usual place for the final round of class. Also, the training dummy is still perfect. Okay, what about you? Meet me in the launch field as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Lockwood in Holland. It might be best to do it outside of the castle. Okay, so I got... I got three notes. Um, I got some quests to do. Ooh. Oh no, we got, we got some stuff. Hold on. First uh, quest. I want to go to class. I want to go to class. And then after class, I'll do the other things. So. Have that. I need to go to class first, meet some new people, maybe. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Okay. Well, let me go to class first. Oh, no. Oh, Matt. Y'all giving me too many missions, and I won't say I'll do all these missions. But let me do the first thing I need to do. Just some of these missions. Okay. There we go. Punches onion again. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Oh, hello. Hi. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. Yes. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the belting bone. Now then, Just at today we will be acquainting ourselves with the well, little we got in known as the Mandrake Root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall let's we? Make them more comfortable. First, let's protect our ears. Bring these in our ears now. Now, everyone, grip the mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm hug. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, cool. That was loud. I didn't like that. I don't like this kind of plant. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Yes. What was the point of that? Repair it. I'm yeah. very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then. Off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Okay, we did good. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. Hey. I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly... The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Okay. 
Yes, Professor? Firstly, well done with your mandrake. Thank you. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. Yeah. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Thank you. I just now, like that. Next, we'll be planting Dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. Thank you. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. I understand. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Mifflers fancy, or roses? Oh, hey. This needs restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Okay. Well done! Once it can good? be harvested, your destiny will be ready Yay. to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. Ooh, that you sounds find fun. that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. Okay. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. They do bite. Okay. Mind my fingers. They do bite. Okay, I got a quote. I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. Did you know that you can use the mandrake to defend yourself? Why, the very idea. Hey. I can't. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But, you'll lead. Nice work in defence against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your jewel is Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. Are you my new friend? you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have, if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. How do I... Oh, okay, that's hell. Oh, okay, that's hell. And then... Look at that! That's what they can get their mouths on! <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the deep gnome in, but they left her holding daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid boob tubers and bouncing balls. Yeah. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Yeah. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone. But, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Yeah. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls and hogs meat and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Death Cat has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Okay. I don't see you later. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Okay. Oh, this is the golf. 
this is the goddamn table. Stop that. Okay. I get it now. I, I need to go to a little full mission. A side mission I had going on. Check. Taking all the potions I need. Because you never know when I need them. Because I can't aim that way on. Helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I've learned our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. Expectedly snapped on. Okay, I did. I attended to the Chinese chopping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? Yeah. I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. No. Good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I need to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. No, I really like them. I suck at plants. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Take to your garden and it will turn to you. Hmm. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. You'll do. Couple of class minutes. Okay, so, um, before I go to my next class, which is the girl from Uganda needs to talk to me. Low hearts meal to see what she wants. And then I guess the professional head gets assignment to a moth on the fly. Mm -hmm. It's a better combination. Okay, I think that's all the classes I need to take today. I'm gonna tell her. I'm gonna tell Daddy. I don't know if I'm supposed to tell her. It's probably the bad thing to do. Baddest thing to do. But like, I feel like she should know. I feel like she should know the truth. In the end. Like, she should know what I'm facing. It's only fail, after all. Ooh, I'm not going by the world cause the world don't stop me I do what I want to do cause that's who I am I am who I am, I am who I am Whoa Whoa Hey Tiki Why This she looks make... intriguing Why she make me meet all the way over here? I'm gonna do this inside the castle in my room I'm pretty sure no one's watching me in my room I don't know, do I trust Nanny though? Ah, it is good to see you, my okay. friend. Hello, Natty, how are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. Yep. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, I it's I why I was late to the sorting ceremony. The port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning. But I can see traces of it, that I've caught magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. Like I, like I need someone to talk to about this. And I will have, I will have more questions. questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Halo are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Okay. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona was not intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Yeah. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili Land. Yes. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Okay. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. 
Taking him down would cripple Vrukut's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with the students. I overheard some of Rookwood's lots talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I'm no! thinking that Don't we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right. But how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. Okay. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Thank you, Natty. I like Natty. I have to be on good. your guard. Okay, so that's done. I'm gonna do some quests. Go from Uganda. Attend potion class. I need a ten potion class. That's what I need to do. Ooh. Okay, well, I think I need a 10 post class. No, what? There it is. I need a 10. Oh, good map. Okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I beg your pardon! Me. What's going on here? Can I beat you for some assistance? Hi. Hello. Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. Okay. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid! Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied him... I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back yep. to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. Okay. A treasured family astrally vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. Yes. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I crop my best. I do hope you find the astrolabe. I mean... Oh yeah. So much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Okay, dive in after we see what's going on here. But they must have come this way! Think! Oh, I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Did the Rookwood don't give a dog she's nip back your time? Oi! Speak of the devil! Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick! <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid! <laughs> I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Correct. I'm not going anywhere. Wait, 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 wait. I don't got. I got that. I need this one. Here we go, friend. 
I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Okay. I'll see you. And I need to go. And I can go. We can help. Oh. I'm not going to go. Oh. 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 Your deed. Release me. Please stop. No. Yay. Are you okay, ma'am? What on earth has just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Been so close to Hogwarts. Are you okay? Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Thank you. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rockwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your yeah. service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work it's and life. Amazing. I'm fantastic, right? Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? Yes. The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. Yeah, I, I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. Yes. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. Hey. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. Okay. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Yeah. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of mallow sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow suite on the swirl, and we'll see what happens. Okay. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. Incendio! Merlin's beard! 
flames make the pyre sink. Incendio! Tego! Incendio! These murder trials won't get the best of me. Yes! I know we had a murder trial. What a day! I can hardly believe a pair. Rebellion. I take it we can call that a success. Yes. We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. Okay. My guess is that each will also require marrow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. Okay. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and Cheers to you. Very good. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. Oh, I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. Oh, I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ranrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me. Struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be. I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. Yeah, okay. It was nice meeting you. <laughs> I wish it had been under better okay. circumstances. Okay, okay, okay. So, I need a gold. Oh, I need a gold. Wait, what did I do? Bad state. Two. I need to take classes. My classes are about to go in. Okay, yeah, okay. Select and travel. Wait, did I go on the way straight today yeah, again? A thousand? What? Oh! Okay, hold on. I got my courses all mixed up. I got my courses all mixed up. Called away. No, I need to go to Poston's class. Thank you. It's very important right now. Okay, and is it down here? No, it's straight today. Oh, no, it doesn't know it's straight today. Okay, so it's like down. Down, 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 and down, down. This seems like the most interesting. Vernon certainly employs great Okay, so nope, went the wrong way. My bad. Haven't figured it out. Figure that out later. There we go. I was like, where am I going? Oh. No. That'd be all the truth. Someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. I thought an aura badge on Professor Sharp's desk. Okay. Yeah. I bet he knows more than he's going to go. Let's go. Let's 
fashioned. It's always moving. Okay. Oceans is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Yay! Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld oh potion oh of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Okay. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. Thank you. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Okay. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, okay. and rarer ones can be purchased. Okay. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. My parents considered keeping me home from... Professor Sharp said that Wiggerweld Potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. Fine job brewing your first Wiggerweld Potion. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an aura. I wish he'd talk about it more. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wigginwell potion. Oh! You're the new student! Hi. I've heard much about you! Um, thank you. I'm Amit, by the way. Uh, pleasure, truly. Yes. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wigginwell potion on their first try. Well done. I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Thank you. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. <laughs> a fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. See ya! Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Okay. Pleasure to meet you. Wait. Are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. <laughs> but she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an endurous potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. Okay. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. 
I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single foop of feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the foop of feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Foop of feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Keep your potion stations Here's the food of you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your endurance potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. My Wingwell potion's utter rubbish. Which I can just replace. Do you shop the Dinit or Crush? Wrong answer can result in an unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. <laughs> What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. There will be toys from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice was- I brewed an Edgerus potion, as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. Yes. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. Thank you. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. Yes. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. Okay. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That will be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I can the grow most of what I need. Yeah, fine. That was an interesting class. Yeah. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Yeah. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. Okay. A portrait in our common room wants to talk to you. It's Eldritch Diggory. He used to be the Minister for Magic, I think. Oh, my notes are going to reek from death. Inspiration. Okay, what are we doing? We're talking about first name. Void, personal of love. I need to do this one. Okay, cast Encanto. 
dot sensibly voided. Okay, we're first. Round three. I have new gear apparently. Oh, it's no wine. Oh. I said we need to sign. I like it for my woman. Okay. Let's see. What's this? Okay. We got that. As we go, okay, stop because I know where to go. Nope. Okay. And stop because I know this is where I should go. And stop because I know where to go. Do do do. Did something. Don't know what I did, but I did something. And that's okay. Cause I made one tool cut to another. I ain't complaining. Okay, you needed to see me. Future champion coming through. Oh no. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. I mean, Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. Okay. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. I guess we're this for a second. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Next time, perhaps. <laughs> Good boy. What a way to go. Incendium. Excellent fall. Okay. Impressed with wand work. I'd hate to face you in a duel. Okay. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. You are. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. <laughs> Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed ones. Other duelists had better beware. Yeah. Okay. I'm used to talk about Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of crossed ones ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. 
The moment yeah, that we find out that the train and station, station is enough to that win it all. Ready for a okay, shot Pokemon, of glory? Don't do that, that's Pokemon. Absolutely. I sat in the Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yeah. Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get started. Let's do it. Me not. Okay, let's try. Do you want me to Don't shy away now. as well as I did. And we're pleased to have such a gracious champion. And my champion of And so it is my great honour to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Oh, I Thank you. Thank you. It's been an honour. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Yeah. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament Who's winner, that? I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Are oh, we doing bad? Yes. Shame it's over. The I best jewelist won, I suppose. Could you remind me how the Dedalian keys work again? When you spot or hear a flying key, you're to follow it back to its cabinet. Inserting it in the lock is the tricky part. I hope you follow some. If you open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if anything. Okay. You can't be beat, can you? No, I cannot be. Let's see. Lumos. Ready, 
Could you remind me how the Dedanian keys work again? Can. When you spot or hear. Lost to a new student? Hmm, I didn't see that coming. Okay, hold on. <sighs> Only he's gone missing. Yeah, we go. Rumors, he was seen in a forest okay. practicing dark hey, magic. Saw him so myself in some ruins with Rockwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders. Especially if he made... I'd help search for him myself, but... I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire. I can tell... Okay. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak to her. I need them. There we go. I need to find all the Ah, here you are. I'm pleased to see you took my advice. Madam Thistlewood, I met your great uncle in his portrait in my common room. He sent me to speak to you. I'm pleased you came. Uncle Eldritch believes the book you found and its missing pages may be relevant to an unsolved case from my time as an aura. Very well. I'm listening. Decades ago, a student named Richard Jackdaw disappeared after going to meet a girl named Anne. They never found his body. Okay. When his headless ghost appeared briefly in Hogsmeade, wholly unaware of how he died, Anne was convicted of his murder and sent to Azkaban. Yes. It was in large part due to the testimony of a girl called Apollonia Black. Jealous of Anne, I think. Yeah. That sounds terrible, but I'm not sure how I can help. Anne's alibi was somewhat labyrinthine. She said Jackdaw promised her adventure following a map he found on some pages he'd stolen from Peeves. And you think Peeves ripped those pages from the book I found in the restricted section? If my great uncle is to be believed, yes. At least, that's what the portraits at Hogwarts suspect. Yes. Anne insisted that Jackdaw had asked her to follow the map with him, but only after she solved a series of puzzles he'd prepared. What way to woo a girl? She swears she never even solved the first puzzle, so they didn't meet. Jackdaw's ghost vanished almost as soon as he appeared. Without Jackdaw's puzzle, pages, or remains, Anne was sent to Azkaban based solely on Apollonia's Furious testimony. I don't understand. What can I do to help? I believe Anne may have solved the first puzzle by now, but after spending time in Azkaban, she's a shadow of her former self. She won't speak to anyone she doesn't trust, and she trusts no one. If you 
A student with a connection to the pages, like Jackdaw had, spoke to Anne. She might reveal new information. Okay. What a horrible story. This is wonderful news. You are to be commended. Fortunately, being a retired aura has its benefits. We can act. I've escorted ministers, professors, and many others to that blasted place. Never a student, I'll admit, but I will keep you safe. Very well. Let's go. <coughs> Steady yourself. Never. We'll apparate together. Don't worry. I've never splinched anyone. Okay. Do take care now, and tread lightly in that horrible place. We'll be there in but a moment. I'm just like, mm, I don't know, I chose her, I don't think I chose her, but I got it. Oh, she. What is this place? That ought to keep them at bay for now. Though, be aware, you may feel a wave of despair. It will pass. Thank you for the warning. This really is a dismal place. But we'll be out of here soon enough. Now, follow me. Okay. Do keep your wits about you. Oh, I never thought I'd see the inside of Azkaban for myself. Nasty Dementors. Not even I could convince the Ministry to send them off. There's no need for such monsters. She's been here a lot longer than the rest of you. If I had my wand, I'd cast Crucio on the lot of you! You don't scare me, young cur. They teach you so little of what you should know, old horse. That witch you're with has a dark cloud over her. I can feel it. What is that I hear? Perhaps death in all its mercy oh, approaches. I want a school's going to believe this. Now remember, Anne has been here a long time. The Dementors aren't kind. Have patience and speak to her quietly and respectfully. Are you Anne? Who's there? Who speaks to me? Is that death finally come for me? I'm a student from Hogwarts. I found the book that you said would exonerate you. Ah, the book, the book! No one would look! None of the mages found the pages. Methinks the feckless knave meandered to his cave. My fate was surely sealed in Upper Hockey Field. Are you saying that the missing pages are in a cave near Upper Hogsfield? Hogs! Hogs! Fields! Fields! Ruins house! A vault concealed! Yes. A vault in some ruins near Upper Hogsfield. I suppose it can't hurt to look. Can't hurt to look, can't hurt to look. Go find the pages from your book. Ellen, Ellen, know you're here. Come in closer, be a dear. What is it, Anne? Oh my god, she scratched her. You're you okay? Right? Go. The cave. You're safe now. You have what you need. I'll be alright once I get. She did. Alright. But, Madame Thistlewood, I. Oh, alright. Okay, so I gotta go to the cave. I got multiple quests open up on me and I don't need that. Okay, Brothers Keeper. 
Never thought I should start my set sale. <clears throat> okay, um, like a moth. Follow the lead of the mission book. There we go. Now. Find Jackdaw's cave. <laughs> Upper Hallsfield is being terrorized by Ranrock's loyalists. Hey. It's not right. Madame Beaumont, might I speak with you? Yes. What about? Mrs. Sprottle told me a little about your brother's disappearance. Yes. Oh, dear Dorothy. She... She mentioned dark magic and even the Ashwinders. Despite my repeated warnings, Bardolph's been experimenting. I thought perhaps he'd get it out... I'll let you know if I see or hear anything okay. about him. Thank you. How kind. I'd be so grateful to learn where he is. I know in my heart he's out there. Yes. Do be careful. I should be going now. Thank you. Bardo, where are you? I'll not give up hope. Shango! Oh. I couldn't help but over here. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. <sighs> Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Clairebolt. Nice to meet you. Ran. My brother Bardolph dared to stand up to them and ended up in St. Mungo's. Right. Simply at my wit's end. I am unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock. <sighs> Much as I would. I should rebel you and live in fear. This is our home. Hmm. Oh, Doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Seems as the alert. Ranrock loyalists are unpredictable and violent. Is it in the building? Okay. Let's see. One of Ranrock's camps. Exactly as Madame Beaumont described. Well, this might be the best meal I've had in years. No, I, I mean it. I don't wish it's a very scared. As I should. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
Prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Yes. Hold on. I might need a magnet This must be the place Sam told me about. No one's been here for ages. Fox Meat Chapter. No, that's not it. No. How did you do this trapdoor? <laughs> you couldn't now wear me, Jackdaw. Now, where's the clue you left behind? Rebellion! Clue. 
Далее. A note from Jack Dool. I never found it. So how did he die? Was she I heard you disappeared years ago. You have some explaining to do. I do? That was my puzzle you solved. What are you doing here? A retired aura, Helen Thistlewood, told me about a map you stole from Peeves, and then Anne told me about a cave. You saw Anne? Broke my heart. I had to go on without her. Probably best of her in the end. Dare I ask? How is she? She was imprisoned in Azkaban for your murder. I fear the Dementors have taken an irreversible toll on her. What? Azkaban? Oh, poor Anne. I had no idea. I thought she'd written me off. I've been travelling the world for years to mend my broken heart. I came back here only recently. On a whim. I must speak to the aura you mentioned and see how I can help Anne. I'm glad to hear it. Before you go, would I still be able to find the pages with the map Helen mentioned? I'm almost certain I dropped them in the cave the moment I was beheaded. Yes. They're bound to be mouldering away with the rest of me. Tell you what, meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you precisely where to find them. If you don't mind my asking, how did you lose your head? I was having a look about when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Dang. Hence, if you, you do like find you yourself in a cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for, specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Thank you. I need to find those pages to help a friend. I shall see you there. Okay. These rocks have seen better days. Bye-bye.